Hi. In previous videos, we've been talking about the framework for looking at product development as a system developed here at EAC. Uh, in the previous videos, we talked about two of the subsystems, one, both of them flow systems, one being information flow and one being workflow. The third subsystem of the uh, product development operating system, as we call it, is the system of continuous improvement. Uh, this subsystem is um, often missing from organizations that we look at. And in organizations that are committed to continuous improvement, in many cases, uh, the efforts here are ad hoc and underwhelming. If you're familiar with the works of, of Covey, uh, The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People, you know he has a, uh, a thesis talking about the, uh, the tension between our urgent work and our important work and that our urgent work tends to completely overwhelm our important work. And we see this in product development, where we see continuous improvement as the important work of product development, but it gets uh, pushed aside and overwhelmed by the urgent work of uh, completing projects. Uh, Patrick Lencioni, an author whose work I enjoy reading, talks about the, the metrics of organizations, and he talks about the ultimate metric of an organization is the health of the organization. And uh, in our product development operating system, we see that the health of your product development system is the ultimate metric of uh, your productivity and effectiveness. It puts us in mind of the uh, Chinese uh, medicine, the aphorism about Chinese medicine that says, there's only one disease and that's congestion, and there's only one cure and that's circulation. Well, the circulation and product development are the flow systems, and the continuous improvement system is the system for increasing the health, the overall health of those flows and of the system, um, and the effectiveness and productivity of your product development system. So this continuous improvement subsystem of product development has three constituent parts, and each one aligns, aligns with a different tier of the organization. Their strategy, and this aligns with the executive tier, and the executive tier looks to build um, uh, a shared vision, a vision of the future of the organization that collectively we're all working to realize. Uh, uh, another element of this continuous improvement uh, subsystem centers on subject matter experts, and it's the increasing of their expertise, their development, um, the deepening of their expertise, and the expansion of competency within the organization. And the third element in this continuous improvement subsystem is uh, the importation, the development of a root cause problem solving methodology, but one that is appropriate for knowledge workers, the workers who populate product development. If you um, bring energy, improvement energies to a product, your product development system, you need to bring a certain threshold of energy just to maintain your current state, if you will, to counterbalance the work, uh, the, the uh, d destructive work of entropy. Um, to make uh, significant and continuous improvement, you need to invest more energy into this subsystem. You need to invest, you need to invest significant energies into a continuous improvement subsystem that will eventually lead to increased productivity and increased effectiveness of your overall product development operating system. Mm -hmm.